microphone on here. Hello, hello. It should be a little volume. Bridget? Yep. I I'm always bring up a talk into it, so. <laughs> just not like our vast online, audience can hear us. Is mine on? Yeah. I hear you. All right, so it's called the order at 637. Um, present, Dan, you, Dan isn't here, but he'll be here shortly. Arden Staff, Wendy Johnson, Stephanie G, Barb Brustman, Jason Wheeler, and new mother, member, <laughs> Heather, Amanda, and Jack King. No guests? <coughs> Okay, agenda item, items, approved meeting minutes from March 2nd, 2023. I know you haven't get, had a chance to read those, Heather, so um, everybody else want to, somebody want to make a motion? Motion. Second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, you want to give a financial status update, Jack? Yeah, I'm going to use the spreadsheet. much and for what event. Um, we had 2494 for the Easter egg hunt. We spent 4657. Uh, so double what we had for it. We had about 616 left once everything's accounted for. Uh, Dan did, did give me the uh, invoice for the uh, fishery. That check will go out next week. The touch your truck, we're still Still got about 750. Not, not much has been spent on that one yet. Uh, same thing with Community Day. We've got about 1250 for that. Um, about 146 for uh, Fall Festival right now. And then uh, 1775 for Trail of Treats. Same for Christmas. We have about $100 put in there. What? Hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Couple strands um, of lights. Yeah. <laughs> so far, we've taken in twenty six nine ninety six uh, earmarked and spent uh, is ten thousand thirty one uh, thirty six. Now this this is in, in anticipation of some things too. So mm -hmm. um, you know, as, as far as the you see it, as far as the fishery is concerned. There's, there's the 1500 that's going to go out this week. Uh, Bowling Journey had a $1,500 deposit for um, Fall Festival. Dragon fly, fly Balloons, that's going to be 800 for the Fall Festival. Um, I've also put in what we spent, uh, 530 uh, Mike the Balloon Guy. Um, various uh, charges, 133.45 so far for the uh, Fishing Derby from Dan. 97.90 from Wendy, 131.53 from me. Um, so uh, again, if you, anybody has any receipts, let me know. Uh, give them to me so I can get you reimbursed. Question. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Wendy, didn't I? I sent you the contract for the next, right? Um, I don't think I have it. You might have, but I might have lost track of it. Okay. I mean, they're, they're, I think you only wanted like 400. Okay. Um, yeah. Just get it to me, and I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah, I mean. Okay, yeah, let me check here. Yeah, that, I mean, that's, obviously we have money in the fall festival, so, um, and once I get it, I will put them in here, so, you know, as of right now, we don't, I didn't get it, so. Okay. Any questions? Okay. <clears throat> the Easter egg hunt, um, obviously it was a very stressful, stressful <laughs> time for all of us, uh, between the weather and just everything, it was just a really tough time. But um, there's some things that we know we can do different. And one of those was we could have had shorter time between each age groups. Um, I think one of the reasons why we kind of extended a little bit this year too was we using the eggs we were using, we thought it would take a little bit longer to get them spread out. Um, surprising how many of the volunteers actually showed up even though the weather was what it was. I think we had a better percentage turnout of volunteers than we actually had the kids that we signed up. 
They was great though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were awesome. They were wonderful. But the funny thing is, is like we had so many that signed up. We actually had like 15 no shows. Really? Yeah. And there were still that many there because we had, I think, the final okay. count because people kept asking me to like, they're like, can my cousin come? Can my friend come? And I, I felt bad saying no. So when at the final count, we were up to almost 40 volunteers. I think we we're at 38 or 37. So I think we had about 16 show. So. so you think maybe like next year we should cut it off maybe 15 and then allow for those people that say, can I bring my cousin? I would have cut, yeah, I, I should, I probably, I just felt bad saying no when someone's like, can I please bring someone else to volunteer? But like, I have to be ready to turn off the responses like right away because within like an hour of her posting that on Canon Max site, we had that many volunteers. Cause I tried to cut it off at 25 and in like a five minute period of time, I looked back and it was up to like 30 oh, something, like 31 or 32, so. I think it's great. They obviously like volunteering for us, but. Well, I'm hoping they like it enough that as they get older, someday they want to volunteer for the board or, you know, keep volunteering. I'm hoping it brings a history of in interest. Yeah. I just need something. Yeah, they were great. Uh, the balloon and airbrush continue to be a hit. Um, absolutely amazing for the first time in his life. Blake actually got a tattoo. <laughs> oh. Uh, the bake sale, we took in $350. So, That's an approximate. Yeah. I couldn't remember the more. exact total. Well, it was 319 and then we found the other jar, and there was another. 324 was the final. Yeah. And, um, I, I mean, obviously, we would have done even better if more people were there, you know, if more people had showed up. So, and we had some great bakers, some great, yeah. everything was fantastic. Did you get that other name I sent you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, like I said, I think probably, you know what, I forgot to look for the sheets in there when I went into the concession stand. I don't know if they're there or not. Did you get that lady's prize? That message yeah. just not perfect. Thank you. Um, but we did have lots of no-shows due to the weather. <coughs> what, was our what was our count? I'm sorry, what was the count? I don't know, because I didn't. forgot to pick up the sheets. Oh, in okay, there. no worries. But I figured we could count the bags and how many bags we have left over to help us. But I'll check for the sheets. Um, they got wet though, so I don't know how readable they're going to be. Um, I noticed too that like a lot of people from South Point, they didn't have power, so they didn't come because they just, I guess, thought everywhere was without power. You left town, Yeah. How long were you without it? We were gone and got home around three and didn't get it back the next morning. Mm. Yeah, I went home to no power. Yeah. Like four or five hours. And yeah. Muse was closed yeah, well, on Monday. Okay. Um, build in flexibility for the weather. Uh, with everything we do plan, it is very hard for us to adjust at the last minute. So going forward, I think the only way we could allow for that is if we continue to book the balloon guy, that we say this is going to be our date and this is going to be our rain date. So we have everybody lined up for that second date. So what does everybody think about that? I think that's a really good idea. And then I, I, mean, I added this in here too, but just like also, if we could just make a decision about the weather like earlier than just the day before, because the problem was is we got the request to move it on like Friday afternoon and it's kind of, we didn't make a decision before that, so that's on us. But then when like the official request for Friday, like to move came in on Friday, it was like kind of late to call mm -hmm. all the students and late to get Mike the balloon guy. So like if we had maybe made the decision on like Tuesday, I, I don't, we probably could have changed it. That was just my thought, so I threw that on there. But well, what about like if how much notice do they need for Mike the balloon guy? Is that some? I mean, I, I, maybe that's not something you've talked to him about. But you know, we no. definitely need to take play in into that. Yeah, I mean, I think like if we gave them two dates in advance, I have no doubt that they would probably just hold, you know, the rain date. Okay. I I don't know just like how. We didn't have a rain date picked out, so I just was like, if we call and cancel on them, then they just probably lose out on their money like their individual entertainer probably would. I don't know. That's, that was, I think, my biggest concern about moving that thing that late is I didn't want to lose the money for them that we, you know, we paid out, so. Mm -hmm. And the other thing we have to consider is if we're having people baking goods for us, 
we want to give them enough notice that they aren't, you know, have all these baked goods. Some things are freezable, but some aren't. So I guess the next, the rain date should be almost the immediate day after. I wouldn't push it a week or anything like that. Like if we want to do a rain date, at, you know, we have our day on Saturday. I think, you know, Sunday would probably be our only option. Or else we're moving it to Easter weekend. And well, even then, like you said, the baked goods ain't no good by then. Yeah. And like the timing too for the volunteers, because I told Wendy too, because I know I couldn't, I had a prior commitment Sunday afternoon, but I did text Wendy and I told her like, if everybody else wanted to move it to Sunday afternoon, I was fine with that. But I wanted to make sure that somebody was like, going to be around in case the students the volunteers like didn't check their emails because that happens like kids like kids don't always check their emails they don't always check their voicemails so like I didn't want people to show up on Saturday and their parents think they're here volunteering and then they're just like not because the event was canceled I don't know that just was stuck in my mind so I just think a rain date you know I, I can send that to the volunteers right when they sign up and then they'll just know and we can have that on all the documentation to begin with yeah. Okay. Um, the concession stand, um, you know, Billy Ann stayed so chipper through the whole thing. And she didn't make anything in the morning. She's just wonderful. Um, well, it was crap shoot. I, I, I told her that. I can't yeah. guarantee anything. <clears throat> she did make some, but not, not, and she was fine with it. Does she ever want to do it again? Did anybody talk to her? Yes, she does. Wanted like I don't know if anybody else heard her say it, but she ha threw out the idea of her running the concession stand at the yeah. fall festival. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. As much as I hate the concession stand, <laughs> we kind of need that. Uh, Barb, you're not in there anyway, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just calm down. I don't know, but she had like proposed like like she said she would talk to us about like splitting money or something. I don't know. Just like. Well, I mean, I definitely so appealing at the time because I know we all don't like to work it. We should definitely listen to. Yeah, I honestly don't think it's a bad idea at all. I mean, like you said, at the end of the day, I think we at least hear what she has to say. Because she yeah, brought it up to me, and I said, "Well, you know, we we grossed over five grand last year." She said, "Well, we can work something out." How much do we put out in food cost, uh, approximate? One hundred thirty-three dollars for the, for uh, Saturday. No, for Fall Festival. Oh. I mean, between all the you know the pop and everything, maybe we oh, sell all the drinks. I mean, I think it was okay. That's, that's it. That's it. We made five thousand on it. Well, so, seven, be, well, okay. Well, it'll be fourteen hundred like, this year. Yeah, it's going to be higher, but the price <laughs> the prices are going to be higher. That's what I'm, that's what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We saw. I mean, we're keeping it low because we want to attract people. You know, we want to bring them in. Yeah. She's selling stuff at ten, fifteen dollars, like other places, and it's working. You know, so. I mean, we've got to decide, you know, do we want to keep that low cost uh, attractiveness or do we want to bump it up on par with other festivals? Um, I mean, it's, it's easy. You know, when I can get water for 13, 14 cents a bottle and sell it for two, great, you know. Uh, pop, 45 cents, depending on, the, depending on the type, depending on the size, sell it for two. I mean, I'm making some profit, mm -hmm. you know. Will I sell it for three? Mm, but the other people are doing it. Well, for 20 ounces, it would charge 3 or $4 all day long. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's something we can look at. But, I mean, that's a lot of hard work, you know. That's a lot of hard work. And, you know, if she wants to do it, we have to consider uh, Penny. We have to consider others, too, because we don't want them to feel slighted. You know, I don't want to show favoritism, but this was an experiment. Billion knew that, um, and she was happy to do it. Right? And, yeah, she does want to come back. How much do we depend on that money that gets made? Like, can we um, live so without it? It's always a plus. You know, it all depends on the sponsorships, I'd say, at the end of the day. I mean, 5000 is yeah, a I mean, good chunk it, of change. Yeah, I mean, it offsets a lot of things. You know, yeah. we could add another event, you know, or something. We could, uh, you know, bring somebody else new. We could buy, get another band or something like that. You know, it all goes in <clears throat> to, the, to the pot. But, I mean, we're, we haven't gotten any money from the township in... Two years. Okay. So what we're doing is we're staying afloat. We're making this thing better and better every year, all of them, better and better every year on donations, sponsorships, you know, and, and concessions. Sheer hard work. Mm -hmm. We're doing stuff people said we could never be done. Even my sister, who, who used to do this back in the early 2000s, okay, she did something very similar. Okay, and then, you know, um, People try to go back to the old, old way of doing it. And that's the thing. I mean, if you have a good product, 
at a decent price, people are going to come. And that's the thing. If you, if you let the kids uh, come in for free, that's a plus. That's more money in parents' uh, pockets to spend on other things. No, that's something I like to keep striving for is to do free kids' events. You know, you know, that's, which, well, that's, that's why I'm here. I mean, that's number one thing is for all the kids' stuff's free. And I mm. really appreciated that she gave a hot, the hot dogs away. Yep. I saw, like, tons of kids. That was really amazing, you know, so. You want to see how many hot dogs are in that freezer down? Really? <laughs> Amy made the suggestion to me, though, that no matter who runs the concession stand next year, if we're giving away the hot dogs, that we actually give them a coupon when they check in at registration. Because she said she knows people were going up and getting free hot dogs from Billy Ann, that, you know. Uh -huh. So she suggested we do that to help make it fair, make it right. Um, the other thing, what you just said there, Dan, I was wondering about us actually adopting a formal mission statement that our mission is to provide our events free to the kids, to the families and kids. Okay, yeah. mission statement is who we are today. You know, if we're going to answer that question, who, who is the Parks and Recreation Board today? A uh, vision statement would be who, who do we want to be 10, 15 years down the road? So, you know, where, where do we see, where do you see us heading? Okay, this is who we are today. Where do you see us heading? So, yeah, I think it's a great idea. I mean, every good organization needs a mission statement. It defines who you are. So, um, what does everybody think? Would you like to see us have something next meeting to... I love that. Consider. I just yeah. like, I saw, I could not believe how many townships this year charged for the Easter I'm, I'm wondering if they do just, that for the registration alone. Honestly, just for the registration, because how many no-shows do we keep getting year after year after year? You know, and I'm wondering if this kind of nails people down as a registration thing well, more true. than it actually is the money that they collect. Because say they only have 200 kids. I mean, for five bucks, that's, you know. Yeah. That, they're not covering you know what they put into that you know i don't know that was my opinion too is why because i think what peter's township does that north Bain mm -hmm. does that I, I still think bridgeville you know i don't think there's anything from, from bridgeville but they don't do a time slot either they they send them all out at once and they have the room for it though. yeah you know? yeah that's well, one thing we always do battle is the parking and you know obviously the room one of the things that you know i mean they don't have a dog in the fight if it's free you know i've seen it in academe i've seen it anywhere if you give somebody something for free they don't respect it much not saying our people don't but they don't respect it as much as if they paid for it and if they have a dog in a fight they're going to follow through with it you know it's easy to say oh we're not going to go today you know we didn't pay for anything so it's no, right. skin no loss right. right so i mean but this is out of the box thinking too no no one else does what what we do so that i mean that's also bringing up another thing for registration is this fishing derby okay i don't want people not showing up because we are going to hit our max we're 60 I mean or 55 58 60 already in a day um, I got to shut it off you know the, the park is not big enough you know to contain that many kids fishing um, so I, but I also want to stress to people like if you are not coming please let us know ahead of time I think we do need to do a wait list again um, okay. like you know if somebody does cancel we just bump you know keep bumping kids yeah, 54. That's smart. Yeah, 54 so and what's the maximum as busy as these last two days have been, I haven't even posted it yet. So that's all Facebook stuff. I know people have been waiting for it too. <laughs> of course, well, I'll bring it up when we do the fishing. Go ahead. And if we're... Um, sorry. Okay, so you want to go on with the fishing derby then, Dan? Yeah, okay. Um, so basically another point I wanted to bring up too is our, our how closely are we checking the addresses? Because this is supposed to be Cecil Township only. And I do know parts of Cecil are McDonald, correct? Because there is McDonald. And then I see a, a couple Bridgeville addresses. Yeah, yeah anybody up off of uh, Morgan Road? Okay. That's that's uh, Cecil, but they call themselves Bridgeville. We okay. have five zip codes in Cecil Township. Okay. I'm yes. McDonald. You got right. Southview. You've got, um, wow, you got Cecil, you got Muse, you got Lawrence. Um, and then you have all the, you know, right, right along the edge there. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of people in, included in 26 plus or minus square miles. Now, what I can do is look up the address on the registration in the tax records, and it will tell me whether it's actually Cecil Township yeah. or not. Yeah, you can. That's right. I mean, I don't think we got to get too, too carried away, but also, you know, I do want to make sure, stress like you did, you know, that this is for Cecil Township residents. You know, for now, I mean, obviously, if somebody's already signed up too, and we find out, hey, they're not from Cecil, 
like can we put them on the wait list and see how many kids we end up you know and then we can easily add them on so um yeah we're stalking uh, fish uh jack i just confirmed with them today friday in the early afternoon okay. um did you happen to see john when they stalked on tuesday by any chance no, did he I stop missed, in I okay no biggie. Um, he said he was going to get us some signs um, we'll have to put plenty of signs up um that we're gonna you know this is blocked off until after the derby um so they're going to provide those signs that's nice he has some signs he said he can drop off and i told him make sure he stops and talks to you yeah um arrival time it's up to you guys this is pretty minimal i think the biggest thing is um if we're going to give away hot dogs and stuff there as well um potato chips or something we may need uh what time it's supposed to start at 10 right most of the time i'll be there earlier but i mean if you guys get there around let's say nine that should be there's a very minimal setup for you guys do you want us to give away the bags do yes you want to hold for community no. day? well it's up to you guys what you guys want to do with the bags i mean it's all a group effort here but um I, if you want to give you know them away too that i have no problem with that probably have enough for that day in touch a truck actually I Did think we did last ready? year. I think we had some leftover for Touch Rock. We actually, you know, some people that didn't show up to the Easter egg or whatever, we ended up, you know, just make sure that they didn't get one at Easter, you know. That's something to remember next year is don't buy any Easter themed things <laughs> for the Easter registration bag so that we can use them later because the Easter coloring books are in there. So <laughs> they're going to get them, but that's fine. <laughs> the Easter coloring books. <laughs> for, <clears throat> prize update. Um, I have to get that list out to you and I'll put an age group attached to it as well. Jack, I have a couple of very minor things too. I'll get you the receipt eventually. Um, no stress, um, but I will get a prize update. I'll get a prize update and a um, prize grouping for the age groups. Concession menu. Um, it's going to be up to you guys. Uh, do you want Jillian for, for uh, concession or do you want us to run it? I don't know how much we usually even make because we give away the hot dogs to the kids. Yeah. You know, if you guys want to make burgers on top of that. You know, she, gave, she gave us boxes of uh, uh, chips and stuff. Well, I'd say we give away again chips and hot dogs to the kids. Let the adults buy what they want to buy, and then uh, we can go from there. In this case, since we do once again give away, and it's not a huge turnout, do you think we should just go ahead and do it? And yeah, yeah, I'd recommend that. Um, Let me give Billy in first shot at it. Right? That's fine. Yeah, I don't think we have an issue with that. Maybe we sell drinks or something. It's up to you guys. Because I think she'd be more interested in. Uh, touch a truck, uh, car crews possibly. Um, I'm hesitant about Fall Fest. Yeah. And Community Day, there's more places that we can be out helping yeah. with things outside of the concession stand. Uh, we need help of Community Day, big yeah. time, especially for volunteers. That's their off season. They're out of school then. Do we talk about getting, if we can get their email, or how does that work? Yeah, so, she has them. So I have the, the emails. Um, I talked to a couple of them, and they said they would like to hear from volunteer activities. So I was going to ask about the fishing derby. If you thought we needed people, let me know so I can reach out and try and get them. But um, I think we should have, like, a listserv, maybe, of, like, our volunteers, like, people who sign up for volunteers, and we can just always email, like, to the listserv opportunities. That's just a thought, but... You know, one thing I can do on the Google Doc is actually have them have each of the things listed and have them multiple check the ones they're interested in volunteering for. Mm -hmm. And then you would always have the info. Mm -hmm. So that's something we could do too. The only help I see you guys may needing would be for concession stand, you know, if we needed. But I mean, obviously, it's 100 people, you know, max. Yeah. So I mean, it's up to you guys. If you guys need to help, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm running the whole time, you know, all the way up and down that stream. So. Um, if you guys decide you need to help, yeah, reach out to a couple of them, let's okay. say. Well, Jack will reach out to Billy and then let us know. Okay. Uh, details to discuss. I don't think I have anything else on that. <clears throat> Just I sent you the request for check. Did you get that today, Jack? That will be Monday. Check that, that's out. fine. As long as we have it, just the day of. Are you okay if I just send it or you want to hand it to us? Either one. It, it, well, actually, on that e – on that, um, I think on the invoice it said check upon delivery. Yeah, it so, does. So, um, yeah, why don't we just do it? We'll hand it to them in a day of then, like we've been doing. 
and then maybe you know if I get it sooner next year or whatever, you know we can we can set that up where we can just mail it to them. We'll have it. Uh, it. It'll be cut next week. Okay. <clears throat> I think that's it on my end. Uh, I have a couple. Just a reminder, I have a couple of the big boxes of the Huggies um, for fishing derby too to give away. So I'll bring those. Okay. And make sure you thank them for us because I know they don't ever want to tell us. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Fall Festival, vote on approval for back roads, $600 for a two hour set. So we'll we definitely have back roads next and Bon Journey, right? So we need one more band? Yes, and I got to contact the ones. I'm sorry, Jason. I told you I'd do that last week and I, I did not. I got to get. Is there a name to be determined? Mm -hmm. It's just TBD. Yeah, yeah. I was like, is he telling me something? I don't oh, know. <laughs> so I, I want to call him. Um, but I, when I seen your text messages, I'm like, is that, is that the actual band name or what? Like, So uh, I'll, I will call them and then uh, I'll get that set up. We have one more time slot we can fill with a band. That'd be Sunday morning ish, depending if we do find. We have no, I guess, the SMPJ. We have no idea if they, the button box. If they're even still doing anything, I thought everybody's kind of walked away from that. It's fine. I just want to make sure yeah. before I before I schedule somebody else in. That's all. Um, I'm getting a lot of pressure from Arlene and her son John. Um, I figure that at the most we give them an hour. I got an hour time slot if we need it. If we don't want to, that's fine. Now, are we talking to Tano or are we talking? Not the one we emailed. The Tano's the one emailed, right? Yeah. Yeah. He wanted seven hundred fifty bucks for. I didn't even see his response. You said an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. He, you didn't see it. No. Yeah, I think well, I'm pretty sure your name was on that too. Our view changed on that, on our emails. Did you notice that? What? You don't see the preview anymore. Of what they're asked talking about. You gotta give me your freaking credentials again. I don't know how it got changed. Never what was the name of that? What? what was the name? Of, oh, that's right. <laughs> I think we lose oh, people. I'm in every day. Except for Arlene. I, honestly, there's. <clears throat> I'm not going to kind of like Polka. Want a Polka band. Okay. <laughs> 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 they're the loudest ones, though, Jack. <laughs> Arlene Curry, John Taylor, and Larry LaRue. Those are the only three. <clears throat> Once a week. We need, we need a Polka band. No, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> and, you know, I just think I'd rather give the kids their demonstration times in the morning because that brings in more parents. I never mm -hmm. set anything up on a Sunday for a kid's event. I kind of hammered Saturday. Yeah. Um, we can, you know, try to move something or maybe, what was that place called? The South Hills. South, yeah, the South Hills Academy thing. What, a dance academy or something? No, but they did. They had their own, it wasn't a dance academy. It was, um, they had their own instruments. So they were actual, play, you know, they played. Um we to actually try to get did one of South, South Fayette's events last year. Um, South Hills Arts Academy or something? Yeah, I'll have to find, try to find I them. Again. I think I that's a dance remember. thing. It South wasn't. Hills. He, no, they, they have singers. Like, they sing. Some of the kids sing. And their other one has a piano. Um, I think one kid had an accordion. Um, they had a whole bunch, you know, it was a huge skit, you know, all different types of stuff. And she only canceled on us because she got sick. She got sick, yes. And I'm not sure if she's still doing it. I have no idea. I she haven't reached back out. She did the Fayette thing after ours. It was like a month after ours. Okay. So I think she's still out there. All right. I'll try to reach out to them, see if they okay. can take an early Sunday slot maybe. I can give them almost an hour. Like I said, we have an hour, that very early 10 to 11, where there's not a whole lot of people there yet. Church. Yeah, church is still in, so we do have that 10 to 11. I didn't want to put a band in right then because I remember we put 90s band in, and nobody showed up until the last half hour of their set, you know? Well, so, 31 o'clock. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, that Sunday was so iffy then, too, so I don't think anybody showed up until after 11 o'clock. Do you want me to stop at Lori Allen, or do you want to call her? No, you have a good relationship with her. Why don't you keep on that good relationship with her then? Okay. My daughter dances. Perfect. Really? Here's the, well, surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> she was over there how long? Always loves you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, motion to approve back rows for $600 for a two-hour set. This will be, uh, as I was discussing with Andy, Wendy, it was going to be um, Saturday afternoon, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this will be the Saturday afternoon set, same as what they did last year. You know, they seem to do very well. The price is right. So, I'll make a motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And then you'll get us the next 
I already okay. emailed it. To okay. yeah. Okay. Do we want to add it? I to just the... I just need to update. <clears throat> I mean, we already. We already voted. I thought we approved it. Yeah. Before. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, That's approved. Months ago. Yeah. Okay. But it's just the time. The time slot. I, I got in the contract. He had a different time, which I will tell him he'll come. But yeah. I mean, it's if we need the correct time on there. Yeah. Because we're, we're we saying now four thirty. Yeah, we should have the correct time on it. Okay. Okay. All right. So anything on the else on the fall festival for now? Do we want to um, do the same mascots? Do you want me to reach out to the yes. same? Yes, and I also sent you another one. I sent you an email with another mascot in it. I forget who it was. Yeah, I think it was the zoo. We don't want to pay yeah. for any mascots, correct? We just want free mascots, or we don't want to pay for any. No. Okay. Yeah. So that leaves out, like, Iceberg and the yeah. pirate who has, like, strict guide or, yeah, strict guidelines. But everybody else was free, so. Yeah. Anybody that's free, we'll, <laughs> we'll, okay. we'll happily take. Okay. Okay, anything else on the fall festival? Okay. Um, touch a truck, Jason? Well, let me give you the update on Maddox first. And, um, Jack, I know you're concerned about Mark Secreti. We should reach out to him. And, you know, this is like eight months before Toys for Tots. So I don't think it's going to affect him. But as a courtesy, I would like to reach out to him and let him know that, you know. We, uh Or do you want to reach out to him? I can. Okay. I'm just, I mean, I'll okay. So, Trucks for Maddox, um, they are meeting next week to set their schedule. And they actually bring a truck themselves and let the kids climb on it. And you can pass that down. Here's a sample of their. So, they actually attend the event. And. So wait, they bring a backhoe, or they bring? Yeah, they bring a construction truck of some kind. So, so if um, they're good with our date, do we want to move forward with having them as part of Touch a Truck? Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, you want to go ahead and anything else then, Jason? Uh, well, I, I know I've sent a few already in that already sent the forms back. I know Jack got them. Um, <laughs> Sergeant, what the heck is his name? <clears throat> One that Wendy, you had me reach oh, out from to. The military. Uh, was he special ops too? They're all they're, they're all Air Force. These people. So it's Sergeant Brandon. Excuse me, Reynolds. Um, that's the one that's actually out of Canterbury, not the one over that you saw. Because um, the other outfit was going. They move around the country, so he's been gone for a month or so during touch a truck so Sergeant Reynolds said he can do it. He's gonna bring, it's some big truck, it's painted like, I forget what he told me, some kind of military vehicle, it's painted like a 1940s bomber, has like the shark teeth and everything on it. So they're gonna bring that. He acknowledged that he got the form. He said, I'm gonna throw it out and send it back because I'm waiting on him. Now, did we send the flyers, to eat the letters out for it yet? Mm -hmm. okay. They went out, right, Jeff? Was that last week they went out? No, it was week before, wasn't it? Was it last week? Okay. okay. Um, but that's, about, I mean, that's all I got right yeah, now. Until but, they start coming back. Yeah. yeah, I would say my biggest recommendation for that is to have a detailed list of exactly what they're bringing because I think a lot of, unex they try to bring some stuff in at the very end and then it gets crowded quick. Yeah. So, yeah, what's that? The tow truck company, yeah. What's that, the tow truck company? Were <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah, McGann and Chester, yeah, they brought like five of them or something. I'm like, ha, oh, where am I gonna put these? Oh, like, no, I know, I, I wasn't expected. They didn't, I mean, <laughs> great showing. Your truck, so look at me. Who wrong. was that, Jack? That was McGann and Chester, wasn't it? Was it a green? Was no, they were orange. It was McGann and, and Chester. Chester. I'm almost positive it was McGann. No, you're and right, you're right. Right. But they brought a whole entourage. Like, <laughs> it was like five like or six, six big tow trucks. I'm like, what am I going to do with yeah. all these trucks? I, I remember that, yeah. yeah. They were painted beautifully. <laughs> oh, they were gorgeous trucks, but I'm like, yeah. it is, they literally had six or seven coming down the road. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe put a max, you know, hey, maybe only four vehicles or three vehicles or whatever, you know. I don't know. That's, like I said, they were great trucks. They were great additions. But yeah, I mean that back, that up lot, that upper lot went from okay, I got some room to okay, we have no room. Yeah. Like, <laughs> with one showing of McGann and Chester, which they were great. Don't get me wrong. And they they put them exactly where I said. I said, hey, can you fit in there? Yeah, no problem. We got it. And they did. They put them yeah. exactly where they needed to be. Uh, they did great. So I don't think we've ever filled that upper lot <laughs> that way. We've it was never... full. <laughs> it was full. What about the uh, helicopter? 
<laughs> yes, please. Okay. That is, if we, yeah, that, yeah, that was good. Yeah, that's awesome. They're especially, all, so, especially when they landed and took off, the kids loved that. Yeah. yeah. They're always happy to help out. So I'll, I'll read. already asked me if the helicopter was coming. <laughs> yeah, I'll reach out to them. Yeah. But Wendy, I will say this. I, if I can't get a hold of someone, I might need you to maybe reach out to someone. Because I'm just, sometimes during the day, I, I can't get to the phone. So. It's so nice being retired. I, yeah, well, I will never know that having a five-year-old, so I'll be dead by that time. Honestly, you younger people, I would be worried about that, too, if I was your age. Um, do you want me to reach out to the Coast Guard? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'll get a hold of it. With I'll go hold it. We time. did send them yeah. a letter, but you have your connection, so. All right, I'll wait till the letter gets there, and then yeah. I'll, I'll give it. They came late last year. They had a. Yeah. No, they had sorry, another. They, they left early. Yes. They had another. They had another prior engagement. Yeah. Yep. I didn't even see him. I think it was a practice training or something they had to go to. Or something. I thought he said they had another event, but I'm not sure. Yeah. And the one I talked to, they, you know, <clears> they, they send the privates down. He's upper. He's a little bit higher in rank. So, but I'll definitely get a hold of them. Didn't we talk to about the fire trucks? We have to know what they're all bringing because they overstocked us last year. I'm going to leave that up to Mac and just tell him, look, we we can only have so many from each. You know, um, three three from three different fire departments. That's nine fire trucks. You know, so if we if we knock it down to two. You know, that'll be six. We're not, you know, and I know they like to be in the same place every year. They're tucked tuck back in the corner over here, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but if we can just have two, I think that'll, ladder truck is one, um, pumper truck, uh, you know, main truck. We don't, we don't need everything, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, also, um, you were going to call Life Flight. Do we get a hold of Allegheny Health Network for the ambulances or yes. is, is she, Southbridge she an option it. since our NC? Yeah, Southbridge is an option. Yeah, she was the one that was uh, very upset last year because we put her next to waste management. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why? I'm hungry to That's laugh. where you fit. That <laughs> truck was as clean as could be. Oh, yeah. That was Thanks. the most popular truck. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, there to be a yeah, she was very disgruntled. <laughs> she, did, <laughs> she did not like being next to uh, the porta potty, whatever it was. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, that was another oh, thing I yes. forgot to put on the Easter thing. I'm so sorry. I don't want to backtrack, but like I had several people say that the porta pot, like the porta johns for Easter, we need more because yeah. they were disgusting. just like you know. You know when I thought about that Friday night, and I thought, I wonder if Jack ordered any more porta. -pots. Yeah, we we did. Um, how many were there? I think one on um, each side. One. Yeah, there was only one Jack down there because I, I actually had a before had a, before this event even started, it was completely trashed. Before it even started, because I went in there, changed. Yeah, it wasn't went, clean or nothing. I'll talk to Teresa because yeah, I did order uh, two, one, uh, two down here, two up there. Yeah, there I, I know if there's only one up here, I don't know about down here. The good news is water will be on in the bathrooms on April 14th, good. so we won't have to worry about that. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, that was supposed to, you know, I mean, we we had an issue last uh, fall festival, you know, and. Um, I mean, these guys, you can't get them on the weekends. You can't get them after a certain time. So, you know, I, I put in for them early enough. And uh, I'm going to find out why they weren't uh, Did they we weren't get delivered. charged for four? Well, I'm going to find out. Yeah. I don't, see, that's an ongoing thing because we pay for them in two of the three parks. Um, CM, uh, YBA, Cannon McMillan Youth Baseball pays for um, other ones. You know, and uh, I'll just I'll see how many we had. Um, for March and April, oh. okay. they're not they're not really reliable, unfortunately. <clears throat> Did Lawrence get fixed? Is there somebody else we can yeah, use? It was right right. It's somebody righted that because um, I talked to Bill Monday. He said, "Oh yeah, we took care of that." Okay, um, but yeah, it. Uh, I don't know what spilled out of it. I don't know anything, but uh, they said they put it put it back up on Monday. Wouldn't surprise me if Stush wouldn't have gone over and done it. Just what, what Wendy's referring to is one of the Porter Johns uh, fell over with the wind. Uh, the problem is when it falls over, all that uh, green, blue, whatever color it is, goes all over the place. So technically, they have to come in, take that one out, put another one in, and um, you know go clean clean that one. So um, according to Bill, it was taken care of. Yeah, someone was nice enough to message me. Okay, so touch a truck, that's pretty much the update for that. Movie night, we haven't discussed uh, any of the movies yet, so anybody has any ideas on movies? Um, we can even wait a little closer or something more current. Um,
Community Day. Uh, does it? Does anybody have the price on that? I do. Okay. Yeah, it's five fifty, and that'll be from ten thirty to three thirty, and I think there's a hundred dollar security deposit. Okay. For what? The For number? the uh, mini golf. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you um, do you have an invoice yet? Or? Uh, we have a, a rental agreement. I can forward to you. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I originally sent that um, to um, Steph and Wendy to see, you know, if it, everything looked okay. I thought I tagged you in that, too. I might not have. I apologize. And then I um, asked Steph to add that last minute. Um, so it's basically what we talked about before, what I've showed you guys before, um, was the mobile mini golf where they just have nine holes. Um, I think that was something, you know, I, I would like to see for Community Day to add another whole other aspect to Community Day. Any idea where we're, we're going to put it? Uh, my original thought was in one of the uh, basketball or hockey courts. Okay. Um, if okay. we just move the nets from the hockey court, I think that would you know be ideal. That way, that brings people over to this side to participate in things. Yeah. Um, also, what are we thinking about putting them kids, all the kids for the craft yeah, vendors? Yeah, the, that craft, like in the open oh. field by the baseball. By the field. baseball field. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't push them that far back, I don't think. I put, I just put them in the outfield by the stage and stuff like that. Well, not because we do the cornhole right there, but yeah. I definitely think, you know, having the kids' craft vendors in that area, you know, and then do the mobile mini golf and then keep the water stuff all separate, I think that'll move people through both sides. And there's like 50 tables? Yeah, it was real. I was very impressed with those kids, I'll tell you. And she told me, like, because, like, at the mall, all their tables were, like, pushed together. But she said when they do outside events, they, like, bring little tents and stuff to set up. So it should look like an actual too. vendor fair. Cool. Okay, so a motion to have Steel City Mobile Golf for Community Aye. Day? Motion. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And um, did we actually vote on having the craft things, or was it between the two? Like, do we need to? We are, I think we already did that. Okay. Well, because we don't pay them, so I don't think we had to, to vote. But we're all in agreement that we're going to have them, right? On community day. Yeah. yeah. On community day. Yeah, I think that'd be the best option. Yeah, I think they're um, that. Stephanie, you want to explain to Heather a little bit about them? Oh, sure. Um, so it's like it's called the Children's Entrepreneur Market, and um, what they do is that they have like the kids run their own businesses for the day. So like we went, they had an event at the mall, but they do, they make the products, they set the prices, they bring like all of their things like set up and tear down and they sell their goods to um, everybody throughout the fair. So like when I was there, they had like lots of soaps, kids made birdhouses, jewelry, art, painting. And so they come all together. There's about um, 50 of them like different kids that set up their um, booths and people can walk around and buy things so we're gonna have them for community day this year because we didn't have any vendors at community day last year so we think it'll be a, a good pool to bring people these in kids belong to they're from all they're not from Cecil right only they have they're from, from Cecil yeah. contact me though whose child does do it and she said oh my child's so excited she's gonna she's gonna start making stuff now <laughs> Oh, so. I think I think they're from Castle Shannon and uh, a few other places. Is, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like an organization. She said that they have um, they do this in California, and she named another state too. I can't remember off the top of my head, but this is the first year they're doing it in Pennsylvania. Do you think that they will take uh, that kids could sign up from Cecil for this? I should. I could ask her how you get involved in the program because I'm sure you could. Yeah, I wonder if they have to pay something to be in that program. Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me. And I can message the person that, from Cecil that contacted me. Yeah, the contact. And ask her, like, is your daughter actually in the group already, or are you going to get her in the group for you know find out what she knows? I assume they can pick and choose which yeah. ones they want to do. <clears throat> okay. Um, is there anything we, else we need to talk about for Community Day right now? Oh, um, should I um, tell DJ Matt we're going to use him for Community Day but not for Fall Festival this year? Yeah, can you get us a price mm -hmm. and stuff? Yep. What is that, like three <laughs> days? Over, oh, you, you looked over here. I just want to make sure oh, nobody got to say Oh, my God, I missed something? <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt anybody. Uh, what is that, three hours? What, yeah. Is that three hours? Uh, yeah. 
actually, the hours. 11 to 4, or 10 to 4, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's longer than that. It's Three, longer, four, yeah. We're almost at five hours. But I don't think he played the whole time. Did he play? The, yeah, he did play the whole time, didn't he? If it wasn't an act or something, I believe, yeah. Yeah, we didn't do an act at all on Community Day. Oh, okay. I think he played the whole time. Now, here's a, okay, here's a question I had, which on the sheet that I had from Jack, it said 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Is that what we did last year? Does anybody remember? I don't think it was that early. early. So I might have to adjust that. I, whatever time it was supposed to end, it ended abruptly. <laughs> when, <laughs> when, that storm storm. <laughs> <laughs> when the storm went through Mother the fire. nature said, okay, we're done with this. <laughs> I'll go back and look at last year's advertising and see what hours we put on it. And Hang then on, I can tell you in I a second. To, oh, you got I, it I, I do somewhere. I thought I took it from that from last year. I didn't think it was that early. And do you want me to see if Drew and Kyle will take care of the... Oh, I'm sorry, what? Drew and Kyle will take care of the... Um, yes. The yes, cow. because I had learned so much about cornhole, and I learned that people take it very seriously about your <laughs> rules. So... I thought I'd emailed him to see if they were on vacation or anything, but I can't find it. And if... <clears throat> excuse me. If we're thinking about prizes, um, let's start thinking about what we're going to be... You know, um, money is difficult. Uh, technically, we're not allowed to give... Uh, township money or in this case parks and rec money as prizes um, last year we didn't either so um, what I'm what I'm thinking is let's be creative about these and uh, you know we can make it happen what if we got a business to pay like cash and sponsor like as a prize I mean more I don't know like I'm just thinking like their money. So yeah, it, it would be like they could put their name on the whole, like the whole event. Like if somebody wanted to donate the prize for the cornhole event, like it would just go like straight. So we would we them. would give them like five hundred dollars, and then they would um, provide the gifts or or like I I don't know who usually gives money. Like if Range was like, oh, we'll spawn. Like I know they gave their money already, so this is just an example. But if Range is like, oh, I'd be interested in sponsoring the prize for the cornhole event. Like they like instead of giving us money, That's like it idea. would just go straight as the prize. That's a great idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, on a side note, I don't want to throw things. I got to say them as I remember. I I talked to uh, uh, Always Safe uh, <laughs> for traffic control at touch a truck they did it two years ago and made a world of difference and billy asked me the other night is there anything else they can do because they gave us that generous thousand uh, dollar donation um and i said yeah uh, we could really use some traffic control he said just tell tell me how much you need you know so what for touch a truck okay who that that was bill, bill. little billy bill. okay bill, well bill and uh jc jc yeah. okay how many prizes did we have? Mac and we sent them. Did we send them a letter too? Would be to participate. A hundred dollars, like uh, and get sure cards for both of them. So like the chili. Wendy. Who? Always. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Got a hundred. That's always an option. If you want me to, I. They did. Yeah. If you want me to, I can call Bill. If you want me to. Yeah, yeah. If you want to. I, okay. I mean, I, I'll step. He mentioned it to me, and I said, "Yeah, we could, we could really That's use fine. it." That's fine. I'll get it. Do we want to do the chili cook-off again? Because Arden, would you be willing to? There was somebody last year for a judge that you had in mind, but it was too late to ask him. Do you remember who that was? Who was it? You remember? Who? Wasn't it? One I I can't remember. You said he runs some sort of Facebook like food. I thought we did have him. The guy group. that does the sauce. Was it he? Oh, we had someone Washington from Washington PA show. food guy. He was. The guy. Uh, Maestro, was Maestro's he here? came in. Maestro's was. Yeah, Maestro's, Maestro's was here. Yeah, they're already signed up. That one. Oh, okay. I thought that you had another idea for a judge. Okay. Last was year was late. 11 to 3 for community day. Yeah, because that's what I set up. That contract was for 1030 to 330, so they can be here to set up, and then they'll, they'll tear down a half hour after. So I need to send change that advertising to 11 to 3 for that. I think 9 to 3 was uh, concession stand set up and uh, preparation. That, I'll bet that's what. Yeah. yeah. That's where I picked it up. Yeah. Um, one, one point about uh, chili, you know, in, in the dead of summer. Um, I think it's a good idea. Um, it was our township manager's idea. Um, we could do something else, you know. I mean, chili, chili in the middle of summer, I mean, yeah. what else could we do, you know? Yeah, maybe we change it. From, instead of doing chili, we do a pie one or something this year. Oh, you know? pie would be cool. I think, you know, maybe do something different every year. 
I think it might be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like I a like pie that. eating contest or something. No. Hot dog eating contest. No. And the Kobayashi opener. Ah, hot dogs. Well, maybe we can be creative. Never around see what other people do in the summer. I'm fine not doing it either way. <laughs> that was a hard one to do. It was. It was like it was like a pain to get like people yeah. to send me their recipes and like to write a description and. It was a pain. It was a pain. I didn't. I didn't hear what. what oh, we... uh, like if we don't do the chili cook off, I'm fine with that because it was hard. It was hard to like get people to send me their information and yeah. confirm that they were coming. And I think the biggest attraction was the cornhole tournament. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's why a lot of people showed up. Um, people love cornhole. Unbelievable. You never knew. Uh, they love it. Yeah. Okay, love it I, I just, I boards. Speaking so. of that, do we need to get our own boards this year then? I still got my set. Yeah, that's a good idea because I brought two of my own sets last year. Yeah. Um, Penn State ones. We have some donated ones yeah. in the back room. <laughs> Penn State. <laughs> I know. There's cornhole boards back there. I have enough from Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some. Um, I don't know how they're going to turn out, so don't count on me. <laughs> but hopefully... Hopefully I'll get it right. You, know, you never know. It's a hit or miss. I started my signs last yet. I mean, I'll have my two oh sets my again, but like they have to be like the actual size, or the people will not be happy. Yeah. Because I think that one donated set we have is like a small one, yeah. Yeah. and I can already see them now yeah. telling me, "Nope, I am overruling you." So. There's there's instructions on online. You there know, is where the hole is. You know. Yeah. You know what, Arden? We should have gotten those. What ones to build you guys them? Had. Yeah. Or this whole templates. Yeah. And, and the cut kingdom. it out and stick it on her. Yeah. Mad about it yeah. too. We could have. Yeah. Gotten them at Tuesday morning. Oh, really? Anyway. Price yeah. It was 90% off. Never yeah. thought about yeah. it. Never thought about it. Okay. Car. He did get us, he did get us uh, shelves. Yeah. Yeah. Shelf. A cart. Yeah, he did. And, and the cart. cart. And the truck. That's right. That's true. Wooden truck. I tell you, those shelves are going to be nice. They still collect every day and wash them. It's going to be nice. Okay. Nothing else on community day for right now, though. <clears throat> Okay, car crews. Of course, this is not our event. We just do the concession stand. Yep. So. What day? There's no date there. So when is it? It'd be the 20th. It's the 20th. Sunday, but I think it's the 20th or 20th or 21st. I think it's the 20th. What's the what rain day? <laughs> the following week. There is week. no rain day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember last year how bad yeah, it was, and then it ended up. It ended up being good. beautiful. Yep. Got jinxed on that one. But the sun is. It's the twentieth, Jack. Yeah, it's twentieth. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it pretty much takes care of itself. I mean, if this is something that you want Billy Ann to handle, um, you know, I can just turn her loose, and you know, we can kind of enjoy the day, whatever you, you know, whatever you want to do. I honestly, I mean, I don't know about everybody else. I don't mind working in such a stand on car yeah. cruise day, and it's, yeah, it's it's pretty it's a, easy, yeah, and it's, it's light it's, duty. Yeah. yeah. And they're really nice, but yeah. Well. Even with maybe a small handful of volunteers, like that can make it even easier. You know, maybe max out five or six volunteers. Yeah, I don't have a problem with doing it on Car Cruise Day. One of the things I want to uh, mention to you is um, apparently uh, soda, uh, cans, and bottles have a shelf life now. Uh, bottles have, a, what, what do we say, two-month shelf life. Cans have maybe three or four months shelf life um, in order Except to keep diet, the... Diet has a shorter shelf life. Okay. Um, to keep our, to stay in good standing with Coke over in uh, Houston, I have to buy 15 cases a year. Um, that allows them to come in and fix our coolers whenever they, and it, they're, that fixing is free. You know, when they, that motor went last year, he came in, fixed it within 40 minutes, and he was, he was gone. So I've held off um, ordering any, any uh, pop right now till we see what we're gonna do with Billy Ann, et cetera. Um, but I got to be thinking about buying 15 cases here pretty soon. So um, if nothing else, we'll put them in there. Um, basic stuff, Coke, Diet Coke. Um, you know, we're 50% Coke, 50% Pepsi in Cecil. So um, I can buy a little bit of both and hope, hope that it goes. Uh, orange is popular. Um, but, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of stuck in a routine, you know. And uh, so I'm not going to, it's not going to be overkill. Um, I would just buy the 15, just at least, you know what I mean? Or touch a truck, yeah. So they at least, like you said, they will, I mean, they'll come out and replace your whole core if they have to. Right. So, I mean, it's worth it just for that. What they wanted to do was replace the ones we have now with the ones coming out of Mexico. And um, apparently they are really, really bad. 
I mean, they're, they're changing those out almost once a year for some of these people. I said, look, let's keep this going as long as we can. My sister is the one that got those in there back in 2004. So, um, and they're going, they're going strong. Um, and, you know, it's just a matter of we've got to vacuum out the back every now and then. But, I mean, you figure if you, if you get, you know, five regular, five dye, five Sprite or whatever, because, you know, Sprite's a big thing too yeah. or whatever. Sprite, Sprite did not go well last year. That's true, it didn't. Yeah. You know? Um, I think root beer did Dr. Pepper. I mean, yeah. people like Dr. Pepper. Mountain Dew. You know, I mean. Yeah, Mountain Dew yeah. is a Pepsi product. Or Powerade. Yeah. Powerade. They only have Powerade. They don't have um, Gatorade. Oh, yeah. 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 That's the Coke is Powerade. Whole different people didn't water. seem to mind, though. They bought the Powerade. Yeah. Coke is Powerade. Powerade, actually, I think, tastes <laughs> yeah. better than Gatorade. Yeah. But. So I, I, I will plan. I mean, I can get 20 cases. That, that's fine. Um, it's just I want to hit it so that we go into that uh, time where we're going to be selling out. <laughs> I'm fine with buying a couple more cases later, but at least I met that contractual obligation to uh, Coke over in Houston. What's the shelf life, do you remember? Two months on bottles, uh, three to four months on cans. And, and, and August. Uh, I think it lasts a little longer. I, I agree. September. And I told the guy. Oh, but trust me, it does. I worked there when I was I young, and they would, they would give away, I mean, they would give employees cases that were there for a year. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if we what goes them. worse faster is you know, like two liters in these because sun hits them. Oh. The sun's bad on it breaks it down. But so cans, the cans really can last forever, right? Or no, it, forever. It, no, it won't last forever. It will it will go flat and flat and spoiled pop does taste terrible, but it takes months. Now this right here says diet three months, regular soda nine months. Yeah, so if we're, I mean, we're good for, if we get them for touch a truck, I mean, that'll hold us over. I mean, even if we have some left over at fall festival, that's, we're right there. So. Who brought well, are we up? worried about shelf life just shelf from what life. Coke is, or well, if it tastes bad, no, I mean, sell it? Well, really, I mean, all I know is what, what our salesperson, uh, you know, says. And I, uh, granted, I know, they want to sell. That's their job. Um, <laughs> but I want to make sure that you know, <clears throat> we go through this. You know, uh, we had cases left over last year because I, I waited too long. Um, I didn't find out about the contract until yeah. late, late in the uh, well, beginning of summer. Huh? <laughs> until it broke and you had to call them to fix it right well yeah that's what they told me i, I gotta buy 15 cases a year from Such. okay <clears throat> um fall festival we already talked about that trail of treats and light up night we don't need to talk about yet <clears throat> little free libraries <laughs> so i did get the information from blueprints been on, two years been on and you can pass this around um, they actually do monitor the whole thing. They supply the books. They paint it. Uh, but it is a yearly fee. And, like, for example, a three little free libraries for one full year, fully supplied with books, is $2,500. So that's pretty steep. Well, who would pay for that? Us. Uh, Parks and Rec. I don't think we're going to pay for that. No, we're not. No. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this went on the Genesis. I came here two years ago. Right. <laughs> Well, it started so off. It's either as we do something with it or we scrap it. It started out as Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts that's where we're going to see it. And, and, and then Ron Fleer was going to do them for us. No. Well, I that had help. I, well, that was for the Girl Scouts. Yeah. So this is definitely out. So, so much for that. I mean, that's what to pay for. Good for them, but it, it shouldn't come out of us. All right. Any new items? Take little library off of this. Hey, that's fine. Right we got one in Georgetown, so I don't need to worry about it. Well, last night I was it's talking like a to. It's record. It's always the last item. No big fight. That's good. Just, um, just as a side note, um, I told you about the bathrooms being up and running uh, April 14th. Uh, tennis courts are open now, so that means the nets are up. Hockey nets are going to be replaced. So if anybody says there's holes in the net, yeah, we know that. Um, they will be re replaced shortly. Um, youth baseball and softball has started. Just so you'll know, I'll be scheduling all the fields this year. Uh, that's going to be Cecil Henderson, that's Klinger, that's uh, Cecil here, um, and uh, huh? Lawrence. And Lawrence, yeah. Um, Klinger Park is booked all year, so that's out. Um, they're going to, uh, Cannon McMillan Youth Girls uh, Softball is going to be using that six days a week. Um, Ken McMillan Youth Baseball, uh, they'll be using Cecil Park often. 
They have a lot more players this year. Um, they'll be using Falcone Field as well. But as you'll, as you'll see now, um, it's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday uh, in Cecil Park. Uh, Are they going to want back in the concession stand at all? Yes. Yeah, um, we, uh, we've arranged it so that only one person uh, can get in and out. Um, so, um, and all of our stuff is locked up in the back. The handle is being fixed. It did fall off for me. It's a, it's a set screw is what it is. It's a little tiny set screw that, that has come out. So once they, they get one, they'll, they'll fix that. Okay. Do we get any of the money from that, from their con from, from the concession stands, if they are doing it, they're not using our food or drinks. They don't. Or they won't do concession stands. Here's the thing with uh, any of the youth baseball, they charge their parents $150, and oh, yeah. if they if they want to help out with a concession stand or clean up or something, they don't have to pay the 150. Nobody's helping out, so they they decide they're not even going to be using our concession stand. Actually, they left all of their stuff in there and said it's yours. So everything that's on the bottom. Uh, shelves, that's all ours now. So we can go through it now and put things... Right. And the keys, I have sets of keys. I just have to figure out, you know, what's what. So, um, let's see. CM, YGSA, um, I told you, Lawrence Park, uh, six days a week through June. Um, <clears throat> DJ Johnson has a golf cart that he wants to sell. Um, he, I told him that you know I'd bring it up before the board. Uh, he wants three thousand dollars for it. I said I'd let them make the decision, so he didn't, uh, you know, uh, hold me uh, to it. Um, it's apparently it's a good one, it's exactly what you were looking for, but uh, I, I might be a little steep. Gas or electric? Honestly, they're not they're not cheap. How much is a new one? Yeah, a new one. Twelve fifteen. Depends. Twelve fifteen thousand dollars. For a golf cart? Yes, yes. they are. We're all electric. But out, or even you should get start getting some wheels and speakers on and stuff. It could be twenty. <laughs> Holy cow! I mean, they're, yeah, they're not cheap. Make it a low rider. Mm -hmm. Is it gas or electric, Jack? Do you know? Uh, it's electric. Is it? In de have you seen? Is it in decent shape? Uh, it is. He showed me a picture of it. He, he, he's immaculate, so he takes good care. He has a roof, has a windshield. He's putting a new windshield on it, and the roof is going to go on. So it's it's almost identical, similar to what we've been uh, renting over the last couple of years. My neighbor has been picking some up, and he's been rebuilding them. He may have one left over here soon. For okay. I can probably get for maybe under a grand. Okay. Okay. Um, and it's a gas one, not electric. Okay. But we're, the biggest thing would be where are we going to put it? Because it's um, not going to be feasible, you know, where, where we currently have it. It would have to go probably over into public works, but they're not going to be out for over a year, right? Um, well, let's, let's say they received the building this week. Okay, so they're going to start putting it up. It's earlier than planned. Okay. Um, so they're going to start putting it up. I would venture to say they're going to be out of there by the end of the year. Okay. Um, what we could do with the uh, cart is at the garage, we could pull it right in there. But that that have to be the first thing out whenever we do anything. Yeah, on the garage side, the garage yeah. side, yeah. Yeah, there's enough room there for it. Oh yeah. So we are we are we are pushing that. I mean, we you know, I just got those tables back from the weekend. You know, um, we, once we get that freezer over to where it's supposed to be, get that hose uh, wound up um, and tighten it up. I'm going to take that table out of there. I don't know where it came from. I don't know what it's for. Um, if we need to put shelves in there, okay. I'll put shelves in there, but I don't think we need a table that we lose all the the space underneath it. Yeah. Are, are those big big black speakers? Are those ours? They are ours. They've been down at Public Works for a while. Um, I told them bring it down. I want to try to use them because we're not kicking uh, the volume to the other end of the park like we're supposed to. Um, Gary tried to do that at Fall Festival, and as a lot of people heard, you know, I tried to say something. It's like you know, it's like whoa, you know, and. Uh, he found out what the problem was. <clears throat> we talked about doing wireless speakers down there, um, and I told Bill, let me at least try these. Even if I put them out where they blast down that way, uh, maybe we can, you know. Wireless speakers from the stage down to the playground. Yeah, yeah, but th those, I mean, those aren't, we're going to try those since we have them. Don says just sell them. So. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I mean, I don't know how wireless would even work that far unless you have repeaters somewhere. Right, we'd have to go through that whole process. Yeah, that's Gary has an idea. Um, I just don't have a price tag yet. Somehow we gotta, we've got to get the announcements. We've got to get... A lot of people are missing things that are going on in the stage. 
right? Because it's just not, it's not A, reaching down there, it's not echoing down there, um, and if you turn it up too loud, it, you can't get the message out. I don't, I, I don't know about that, to be honest with you. I was working at parking, and I could hear the bands playing. I knew what song he was singing. Like, I could hear it from the parking lot over down there. So I, I, maybe if there's a lot of commotion going on, you might not be able to hear it. But when, I, when it was quiet and I was in that parking lot over there directing parking two years ago, I could hear exactly what song was playing. Okay. I, there were there were several complaints that nobody could hear. Yeah. I, I said think sometimes maybe when people are talking, though, it's different. Yeah, it might be music. a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. So we thought about there. possibly wireless speakers down there in the trees, you know, over on the other side by the uh, um, the little bench and, and everything. Is that, that Gary's idea? Huh? Is that I mean? That's yeah, Gary. yeah, Gary and I've been talking about it. Well, he he needs to get. I mean, that's not that's not a quick thing. So right. that's why we thought we'd try these wired. Yeah. Um, and see how that works. But there again, how much wire do you need? How far do you put them down? You know, I mean, what, what kind of uh, uh, amp are you going to need to kick it out that that far? You know, it's going to echo anyway, so people are going to have to slow down uh, when they're talking. But by the same token, we're getting the we're getting the message out there. So we're going to test that a couple times before Fall Fest. Okay. Is that everything on your list? <clears throat> okay. I have one more thing actually. Last year, we had the Salvation Army here in September for a rating picnic. Can I reach out to them and ask them to do it again? Sure. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Definitely. We had them here for... Uh, they came to touch a truck. They did yeah. the popsicles. Yeah. Yeah, they did the birdhouse. That was the birdhouse. Yeah. Yeah. So, and they got their invitation to touch a truck. So. Okay. All right. Um, um, a date for the rodeo. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you want me to start adding that to the agenda? Here's the thing. Um, I'm going to let them handle it. Okay. Um, it's just more of a, this is not a parks and rec thing. Um, they're basically going to rent the park, and I'm going to let them do the concession stand the whole nine yards. Um, we still have some of the pop that they gave us because nobody wanted it. Um, and it's just, it's, it's too much. You know, it really is. Um, so I'm going to let them handle it. I talked to them once already. Uh, they're looking at, uh, I want to say July. When's uh, Community Day? 22nd. 22nd. Um, I want to say the week before. Um, and I'm just going to let them do it. You know, I'll be here just to, you know, let them in and everything like that. But um, the supervisors aren't really... They're not for it, they're not against it, no beer. Um, so that means there's probably gonna be no beer at the fall festival. Um, I don't know if that's a game changer for anybody. Uh, we do wanna kinda of keep this a family oriented uh, type thing. Granted, beer will, it will bring in a different uh, crowd that you know might stay longer and that type of thing, but the stress it's gonna put on the uh, police department and um, you know on, uh, on them as a whole, anything happens that it reflects on us. So. Um, since they said no beer at the uh, um, rodeo, then we're going to say no beer at the fall fest. They might the rodeo might not want to come if they can't. Have exactly, <laughs> exactly, and that's honestly that's fine. That's fine. You know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Last year it was surprise after surprise, mm -hmm. and I mean, I you know I like everybody there. Well, my my biggest issue was they pretty much lied. Yeah. yeah. They so did. to me, I would tell them not to come back anyways. They did. I, I come down to help them, thinking it was for underprivileged, you know. Yeah, within right. the handicapped kids. Handicapped yeah. kids, and come down. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, nobody. Yeah. There's nobody. Like, and and there again, I, all I know is what I was told, you yeah. know, and I was told that repeatedly, you know, and then only to find out. And I, you know, I talked to supervisors about it, and I said, you know, and you know, yeah, one of the coordinators was um, a niece of one of our supervisors, um, but it, it was egg in our face, you know, for the most part. It, it embarrassed us. Um, and uh, that's why they were hesitant to do it this year. And they said, well, give it, give it another try, but don't, don't put much effort into it, you know, from, my, from our standpoint of view. So that's why I'm not going to ask you. I mean, you can help out if you want. I'm going to let them do it all, you know, from a concession stand all the way down to, you know, setting up the uh, uh, game and, and, and that type of thing. So. Quick note, the township is aware of the white things coming off the pass-through windows. Yes. Yeah. Um, I told, when it first started about uh, three weeks ago, I, I told Bill about it. Um, that I put that piece inside the door. 
Um, I, honestly, getting this uh, building ready up on Klinger, I know that they've been, uh, and with the wind, the trees down and everything like that, I know they've been busy, but he is gonna have that fixed. All they're gonna do is cut another piece of that white stuff and, and glue it on better. All of them are coming off. Okay, all right, I'll remind him and uh, just tell him please fix it, it looks terrible. Heather, I'm not gonna put you on the spot today. Yes, you are. <laughs> Um, but please, you know, being new, I know is tough, but please feel free to speak up about ideas, thoughts, you know, as we go forward, any ideas you have, bring what them forward. What you want to be in charge of? <laughs> what you want, yeah, what do you want to be in charge of? <laughs> yeah, like, you can, like, we'll add you to the project lead for one of them. Yeah. yeah. Let me know where you do need to help. Christmas. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Christmas. You have a long time to get used to Christmas us, and then you can lead this brand new Christmas this. event. Yeah, <laughs> our, our thought on Christmas, if we do something, and you saw we did put tentative, was something just called Simply Christmas, where we would just have, like, you know, Christmas carol singing, hot dogs, hot chocolate, really just an old-fashioned, like, get-together in the park and a bonfire. And, the beer truck so, ain't coming out. The one meeting I came to just to is that the night we talked about it? it out, right? I think it's such a better so. crowd. I know. Okay. So, all right. Anything else? Adjourned. Meeting adjourned at.